Oh yeah, greetings fellow news. Welcome to another new cast. This is the last of my final three 1.2 patch casts. And they this first one is between, all three are with Alex Mech, and, um, who is a, a very good Terran player. And uh, every game he's ever sent me has been fun. He's usually getting uh, BM'd to no end. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't watched any of these casts. These are all going to be cold casts. And um, you might be surprised at some of the competition. So without any further ado, we shall jump into this map. Ooh, this match between Alex Mech, spawning here as the Teal Terran, his opponent, Psionic, as the Yellow Protoss. And as you saw in the opener, this is being played on MLG's version of Shakura's Plateau. This is the new map, I mean the old map, I'm sorry. It still has the, uh, the broken down rocks. And... Um, Obviously, it is not the new version, which is just vastly, vastly different than uh, this old version, which still has the smiley face base <laughs> on either side. Um, I think I've only played on the new Shakur's Plateau once, but I know that the back rocks are gone. This base uh, is still is um, here, but now it's got two ramps with rocks on either side. And all this whole middle area is all completely different. It actually kind of plays like a little bit like Metalopolis, um, inverted. So yeah. Anyway, Psionic doing his thing, getting his gas, throwing down some gates and some pylons. This is the very standard Protoss opening. If your opening doesn't look like this, Cybercore. Yeah. If it doesn't look like this, as far as uh, buildings present, then you're doing something wrong. Uh, if we look over here at the Terran double gas, uh, single racks, double gas, curious, orbital command up and completed already. Um, immediately into factory, no add on on the rack, so it looks like it's going to be some kind of um, mech or banshee play. We're probably going to see a factory immediately followed by. A starport, unless of course he's going for like just straight up tanks, which would be really weird without some kind of ground cover. So I'm guessing he's going right to air. And we shall see. Alex Mech likes to build mechs if memory is any uh, service. Here is a sneaky pylon from Psionic, who is very likely, considering that forward pylon, uh, going to be for gating. He is saving up the money. So. I just saw it drop, but I didn't see what it dropped on. He didn't plant any other buildings. What am I missing here? One gate. Two gate. Where's the second gate? Show me two more gates, baby. Show me two more gates. He's just making probes, I guess. Gate number two. We got a zealot out here hanging out. A probe hanging out. Uh, he is, I'm guessing, trying to keep... Um, Alex Mech from scouting this forward pylon, though the fact that, uh, it's first of all, it's really hard to foregate a Terran when they wall in. It's just hard. Here's the, the Stalker and the Zealot going to be poking up here, going to be getting smacked by these Marines because they can't get up there. Here is the other three gates finishing. So it is, in fact, a foregate on one gas. And but it looks like uh, doesn't appear as though he's going to be able to get anywhere with it. Considering now we have a reactor going up on the barracks and uh, tech lab pumping it out hellions and getting the blue flame upgrade. So um, second, we're going to see some uh, blue flame hellion action. Wonder if we're going to see a starport go down for some drops. As we see uh, Psionic getting his expansion um, very quickly, six minute mark is a, uh, would be considered a fast expand in my book. <laughs> um, and that blue flame hellion, 
completes is going to be great against uh, any zealots, but not so great against stalkers, though. If you have enough hellions, you can do all the damage you want. Here goes the star pour, so I'm guessing we are going to see blue flame drops in uh, psionics mineral lines. Pardon me, that was my email program. I forgot to close it. So that may happen a couple more times. Stalker getting uh, beaten up by that uh, bunker down to just a few HP, 7 HP. And uh, we are seeing a medevac and the command center going down. So uh, Alex Mech also going to be doing some expanding. I wonder if he's going to drop down here or if he's going to try and take his natural, which is where all the bad guys are. Um, this is actually a pretty safe place to expand right now if you're Alex Mech, if, um, considering he knows where his opponent is. And uh, yeah, with this complete wall off, Four gate is pretty much worthless, particularly with this bunker here. They can just pick off most of your units. Um, the medevac is off. It is full of hellions with the blue flame. Um, oh, is he going to see it? He is going to see it. He's going to see it immediately. Oh, that's a party foul and a half. So he is rushing. Not going to rush back to his base. What? What? So what's he going to do? What's he going to do? Forge. The forge is down, but that's very late. It's not going to be there in time uh, for him to put up cannons to catch this. Uh, more Hellions down here at the front of the base. And here comes the Hellions. And that is going to be a lot of dead probes. Oh, fire away. Oh my goodness. Uh, and here comes the push up the ramp and now that's a, the weirdest force field I've ever seen. Now this is interesting because if he gets to go, starts to go up the ramp, he is going to be able to warp guys in on the high ground, uh, but it doesn't appear as though it's going to make a difference because man, um, these blue flame hellions are tough on these probes. And even if he, oh my goodness, just transferring them down to low ground, but look at how much damage these hellions do to these probes, just tearing them up. Any units being warped in? Yep, we do have a couple of Stalkers warped in, and they are going to quickly take out these Hellions, although they could take out some more probes. Yep, they do get a couple more probes, a couple more kills. I should try and check the kills on these guys, because I'm sure... Uh, 12 kill Hellion! Oh my goodness, look at that! 9 kills. 12 kills. Holy crap. Between these two Hellions, that's not even 4. Oh, even more! And now he's got to bring everything back because, oh my goodness, Blue Flame Hellions just wreaking havoc. And now it looks like he's going to lose this medevac. I definitely don't agree with that. And down it goes. But now, um, Psionic is in deep trouble. 10 probes to 27 harvesters. Uh, it's kind of, you're kind of in a situation here where you either attack and try to win or you go home, you know what I'm saying? Cuz now he's going to put the he's going to put the factory on the reactor and uh, I guess he's going to pump out some more hellions. Um, cuz that's the only thing you can do in a reactor factory, but he may just be trying to get um, some some infantry upgrades for his uh his marines here, but it doesn't appear to be the case. It appears as though he is going to be pouring out some Hellions. Um, and Psionic, at this point, man, I just don't know. I don't know what you can do. You've got a couple of probes out here, though, that are just hanging out that you could be using to mine. Um, let's check him out. He's trying to get back. He's already got six more probes. He's not spending money on anything other than probes right now, which is a good thing. Um, and he's looking for other drops, it appears. He still, I don't think he sees this pylon over here. No, he does know it's there. He just hasn't acted to uh, to take it out yet. So I don't know what Psionic can do with the tech that he has at this point to try and get back in this game. Um, but look at that. He's very quickly closing the gap in Harvesters. I'm guessing that uh, Alex Mech is just using... Uh, a lot of mules to stay uh, ahead economy-wise because, I mean, 
Sionic has really, really closed the gap here. Uh, and considering that Alex Mech is just now getting his um, his expansion saturated and up and running, um, Sionic isn't as far behind as he once appeared to be. Uh, as you can see, now he's only three probes behind. Obviously, he doesn't have mules, and that's going to make up for this big uh, disparity here in the income. But if we go ahead and look now at the army size, um, he's only 15 food behind. So I'm saying I'm, he is right back in this game. This is not. Um, he needs to get guys on gas, but other than that, um, he is just rocking along here. He does, he's not harvesting any gas at the moment, however. Um, which he's going to have to do if he wants to continue warping in units. But this is now uh, a pretty a pretty big ball. And he's getting the plus one upgrade. And we're getting a vehicle upgrades for the Thors that are now getting pumped out of this uh, factory with the tech lab. Barracks, a second barracks going down finally. Um, now we have three. We have du we're double pumping Thors. And uh, no more Hellions does it look like. Although he is, uh, he is just rocking the uh, stalker is going to die quick. Yeah, and Psionic's going to be like, okay, Mr. Thor, I guess I'm going to have to go home and rethink this whole engagement thing. But um, as soon as Alex Mech wants to uh, engage. If considering it's going to be soon, um, this match is going to end and quite handily, um, because without immortals and more than just yeah, here here he goes. Uh, Psionic is just not going to have enough time. I wouldn't even go for Robo Bay. I would just be pumping out immortals to deal with because immortals are going to um, they're going to take out well they're going to take out the Thors and he's got the stalkers to handle everything else and he's gonna meet this army in the middle is not where he wants to meet it oh my goodness I'm trying to get a third oh psionic what is going on here uh, I do not like this play at all I don't like trying to get a third while uh, this monster army is like breathing down your neck I do not think it's wise you've got trying to get double robo and I don't know man I do not know Oh, what, 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 what was, oh my goodness. And you know the Thors can walk right through those force fields. Yes, they can. Yeah, this is going to have to be GG, I think. I don't... Is he going to get Colossus? No, he's going to get Immortals, and that's what you want. Um, I think if he had, if he had... And I guess he had to cancel everything that was over here anyway, so it worked out to be the same. If he could get these, if he could have gotten these out faster, he'd have a better chance. Um, and this isn't a terrible idea, blocking in with gateways, because obviously the Thors can't walk through there. Um, and here come the Immortals, but it's not going to be enough, and Psionic is going to have to say GG telling you blue flame hellions man blue flame hellions and a drop like this against protoss just brutal congratulations alex mech game two of the three game set coming right up keep climbing that ladder